The death of Prince Alfred. Prince Alfred of Great Britain was the youngest son and 14th child of King George III and Queen Charlotte. Born on the 22nd of September 1780 at Windsor Castle, he belonged to the House of Hanover. Unfortunately, Alfred's health was never robust and his condition worsened after receiving a smallpox vaccine in 1782. Tragically, he passed away at a very young age of only two, causing profound grief for the royal family. Only six months later, his brother, Prince Octavius, also succumbed to an early death, compounding their sorrow. Throughout his life, Prince Alfred struggled with various health issues. His birth brought happiness to his family, especially to his older sister, Princess Sophia, who affectionately referred to him as her grandson. However, from the beginning, Alfred's frailty was evident, as he experienced skin eruptions and a persistent cough. At the time of Prince Alfred's life, smallpox was a dreaded disease, posing a threat to both royalty and commoners alike. Unfortunately, medical advancements were lacking, making it a frequently fatal affliction. Queen Charlotte, Alfred's mother, strongly advocated for vaccines and had her royal children undergo the procedure. Vaccines gained popularity in Britain when King George II's daughters, who were then the Prince of Wales, underwent the process in 1721. In 1782, Prince Alfred himself was vaccinated against smallpox, but the procedure had a detrimental impact on his health. He suffered eruptions on his face and eyelids, as well as chest troubles due to the inoculation. Seeking recovery, he was taken to deal in company of his governess, Lady Charlotte Finch, and nurse, Mrs Chevely. They hoped that the sea air, water bathing and horseback riding would improve his condition. Lady Charlotte shared in letters to her friend Mary Hamilton that the sea bathing seemed to agree with the young prince and his appetite was good, indicating potential improvement. During his stay at Deal, Prince Alfred's charm and good nature endeared him to many and despite some signs of progress, he continued to experience outbreaks and chest issues. By early July, his condition began to improve, but later that month, it deteriorated to the point where he could no longer walk. Consequently, in August, Prince Alfred, Lady Charlotte and Mrs Chivalry returned to Windsor Castle due to his worsening condition. Medical consultations were held and it was concluded that the young boy had only weeks to live. Tragically, Prince Alfred passed away on the 20th of August, between 4 and 5 in the afternoon at Lower Lodge, Windsor Great Park, just a month shy of his second birthday. His death deeply saddened the royal family and left a lasting impact on all that knew him. Despite not following mourning traditions for royal children younger than seven, Prince Alfred's parents were deeply affected by his passing. Lady Charlotte reported that Queen Charlotte cried profusely and was greatly hurt by the loss, and the King shared in her grief as well. In August, the Queen expressed her affectionate gratitude to Lady Charlotte for taking care of little Alfred by gifting her a locket containing a lock of his hair, adorned with pearls and amethysts. Prince Alfred was laid to rest at Westminster Abbey on the 27th of August, but his remains were later moved to the Royal Vault in St George's Chapel, Windsor Castle, in February 1820. Tragically, six months after Alfred's passing, his four-year-old elder brother, Octavius, also succumbed to smallpox after vaccination, further devastating the king. Although both losses were heart-wrenching, the king was particularly impacted by Octavius' death, expressing that he would have also died if it had been Octavius instead of Alfred. George III continued to mourn the deaths of his sons, and even a year later, after Prince Alfred's passing, seeing his posthumous portrait in a family painting by Thomas Gainsborough brought tears to his three elder sisters, with the king and queen visibly moved as well. In 1812, during one of his bouts of madness, King George had imaginary conversations with his two youngest sons. Prince Alfred was the first of George III and Queen Charlotte's children to pass away in 1782, 
while his older sister Princess Mary, the last survivor of their 15 children, passed away in 1857. Interestingly, among their first 14 children, Alfred was unique in never having the opportunity to have an older sibling during his lifetime, as the only child younger than him was born after his death.